All right, review of last week's work. Slip knot. You take your yarn, create a loop. Take that loop, bring it over the yarn, and pull it through. Take it, put it over your hook, and pull it tighter. Nice and loose over the shaft. All right, yarn over, pull it through the loop. That's one chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop, two. Yarn over, pull through, three. Yarn over, pull through, four. Yarn over, pull through, there's five. We're going to do 26 total. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. All right. Your next step. We're going to turn it over. Can you see these ridges? It runs down the center. You're going to go to the next ridge. Go in. Yarn over. Pull through that. Yarn over again and pull through the two. That's your first single crochet. We're only going to do 25 cro single crochets. We did 26 chain. Need that extra chain for the turning turning chain. So one, go through the ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now if you want to count your stitches, you look at the top and you'll see they create like a V shape. Each V is a stitch. One, two, three, four. We have four stitches. We want 25 total. So once again, through the ridge, yarn over, pull through the two loops. Ridge, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, I've noticed a lot of people will now take it and just turn and go back the other way. No. You have to chain one to create that turning point. Otherwise, you will lose a stitch in each row, and then you will end up with a triangle. Alright, so we chain the one. You're going to go into the next stitch. Not the chain one, but the stitch. You're going through the top two, and then you're going to yarn over. Pull through those two, yarn over again, pull through those two. Again, top two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
pull through two again. Top two again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Through the two, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So it's one, two, three, four stitches. You're going to do 25 again. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now make sure you're always getting those two. If you pull through, just get the one, it's not going to work right. So make sure you always have both. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And remember, you're always going to chain one before you start your next row. Never forget that. Now, by the time you get done, you're going to have about 29 rows to get the square I was talking about. You're going to want it to be about 7 inches wide by about 7 inches tall. When you get to your final row, to finish it off, you're going to just take and cut off a long tail. So you give yourself something to work with. Okay, and then you're going to take it and yarn over and pull it through like you're doing a chain, but you're going to continue pulling it all the way through and then tightening that down. That's how you finish it off. So hopefully you all understand now how to get the single crochet. And I'm hoping to get enough squares from everybody, myself included, to make a blanket, which we can either donate to the clothes closet or somewhere. So, I'm hoping you all are practicing. This is just a reminder of how to do it all. Stay safe, stay warm, happy hooking.